so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can use the, the conditional jump feature uh, within the task tool uh, the builder tool and uh, what what kind of things you can uh, do with this feature so basically the conditional jump feature is uh, uh, it allows you to do uh, the user's response it allows you to check the user's response for specific values or you know, compare with with uh, some other values let's say you are asking the user for their age and you want to uh, you want to you want to check whether the user has given a certain age let's say less than 20 and between 20 to 450 uh, and 50 plus and you want based on those conditions you want to go to different uh, part of the conversation and you know, show different messages to the user so so let's just start out so here's a bot i'll just ask the user uh, this is the first gambit in the first gambit itself let me just ask the user you know hi what is your age and we're going to call this uh, gambit age uh, let's just ask the user with the text input and we'll just ask for a number keyboard and uh, everything is fine this is save it and now we have the age of the uh, uh, basically asking the age of the user we we'll just open the bot and what we want to do here is based on the user's input we want to change you want to go to different part of the conversation so uh, before we start before we do that we want a conditional jump configuration and the way to do that is you want to go to your home page uh, your no, home page at the task uh, go to settings here on the left side and here you will see some of the features that you want to enable one of the feature is this this last one called enable conditional jump section in uh, uh, conditional jump section in gambits you want to make sure it is checked on only then you will be able to see the corresponding feature there so we'll just go back to the bot now open the gambit and you will see this this thing this conditional jump config uh once you enable that in your settings now let's just open it and this will open the conditional jump configuration section here what we're going to do is uh so in this you know we have different branches and each branch will have certain set of conditions and if all the conditions are fulfilled in that branch the conversation will go to that branch A branch is simple simply like you know where the branch you can think of it is in what is the next gambit is going to be so this is called this is going to be a default branch and uh, where the uh, default branch is like in the next next gambit that is going to be there and we can add more branches here uh, so what we are going to do here is we are going to take this uh, we want to compare the users input on this gambit so we are going to take this uh, ursp dot h so as you know by data referencing uh, part of the uh, Uh, feature the ursp dot age will give me the user's response on this gambit. So now note that this this is the same gambit on which user is giving the response, but the configuration happens at the end of the the, the condition jump configuration uh, check happens at the end of the gambit. So by this by this time the age will be available. The age input uh, uh, will be available for uh, for the system to check. So we'll just see use this ursp dot age, and we'll just say it's less than let's say 20 and on the branch we are using the same input and we're going to say it's greater than 20 and we're going to add more conditions it's uh, equal to 20 somebody gives 20 and uh, let's say same input and it's less than 50 so here this is going to do is either it is uh, uh, greater than 20 or it's equal to 20 and we're going to change this to and and it's less than 50 so only the even the age is between the range of uh, 20 and 50 it will make sense you can also do is if you want to put age here you can put or here and you can just remove this condition so basically if the user is given uh, 20 uh, or less than 20 it will go to these or both of these this condition will be satisfied 
uh, which is an or condition. So either one of these conditions that is twice, you know, this the what will go to this branch, the first branch. Otherwise, it will go to this branch if the age is less than fifty and greater than twenty. Uh, if it's less greater than fifty or it's a negative number, all those negative numbers also allowed. It will go to default branch. So we can just save that. Now you can see there are three sockets that has come around. These three sockets belongs to this first branch, second branch, and third branch. Third branch, the last branch is always default. So again, the order of the branches is the same from top to bottom, and here from left to right. Now we're gonna just make three gambits, just to test out whether it's working or not. We we'll just show a message. You are less than. Equal to twenty. I just say that you are between twenty and fifty. It came to the default branch. So that's an indicator to to see in in the real bot. We're just gonna connect these three in the same order. Let's just deploy this and test it. So if I give, let's say, sixteen, you are less than equal to twenty, right? Now if I just restart it, refresh it, and let's say I give it forty-five, so between twenty and fifty. Again, restart it. Let's say I give it. Seventy nine, twenty eight. We came to default branch, right? Now, if I but again, let's say I give it negative twenty three. Okay, you are less than twenty. Yeah, so this is actually less than twenty. So it, is, it went to the first branch. So this is how you use the conditional jump. Uh, you can do comparison more than there are other comparison which is you know other than numbers. There are string based comparison also, and there is other comparison which is like. uh whether the whether the value exists or not or has any value so just check it out and this is how you use a condition jump